Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to troll the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. Oh, the shinies. We love the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and really, anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering, Content for the Blood God. On with the show. Tonight, I have for you Merv, a uh, post-apocalyptic sci-fi short film. Um, I'm, let's, uh, let's chew the fat for a minute. I hope everyone had a great 420. Uh, I did, um, and uh, I also had a great uh, second session uh, with my D&D group. Um, it was very nice. Um, learning, um, like, uh, real mechanics of, uh, of D&D and um, getting my role formulas down and memorized and um, and familiar so that I can do them on, you know quicker on the fly and she asked me you know um, roll me uh, 2d6 uh, and then a 4d6 if uh, if they fail uh, the save um, you know, um, for lightning damage um, and and knowing uh, to do that quickly and efficiently and to give her total damage instead of just uh, uh, um, regular damage uh you know roll the damage and then roll the lightning damage and then give her the total so we can ex expedite things um and uh, learning the peril of being uh a small uh, small statured individual um <laughs> man um it's cool when you can like you know run through the tall grass and no one sees you but when you're like at a vantage point and somebody decides to go for you instead of the half orc that you're uh right riding shotgun on um uh yeah it gets um uh, you know like fall damage and uh, uh piercing damage and uh all of a sudden there's an uh there's an arrow in me and uh you know i'm i mean i'm on my ass and anyway it was good it was it was it was really good uh everybody got some kills and we're doing the wild hunt um right now uh and we're in, on an island and it was really cool um we were trying to make for some water some fresh water to fill our canteens before we headed back to camp and we were making a buckle uh you know a beeline for uh for camp and we were uh you know like rolling through spell slots and uh and 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 trying to just make it back to camp so we get a long rest and we get back to camp and everybody sits down and you know and uh all of a sudden uh, uh we're we're rolling for constitution and wisdom saves for uh falling asleep and if you can't wake back up you're you're taking damage after a while and uh and 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 now like we're in a bit of a pickle uh and she's uh not really ha i mean she's probably got some kid gloves on right now for real for real uh but um you know she's really letting us uh learn by trial and error and i kind of appreciate it I i'd rather i'd rather learn the hard way uh than uh be strung along so uh it'll make us better and sharper players um you know in the end and we'll also learn about working as a team as well um so um yeah and 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 um at work this weekend uh we broke the uh the 4k uh uh record uh well not broke it we 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 recorded a 4k uh sales day uh and we had a successful 420 fest Thank you, everybody that came out to that. I really appreciate it. My boss appreciate it, appreciates it. It's um, uh, more of a validation of what we've been working towards, um, and, um, and 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 really like I helps with some kind of the some of the costs we've uh, he has had to absorb. Um, 
uh, in in our year of operation so far. And we're doing well, but um, you know, I mean, uh, having a a store and four employees, uh, especially with four employees all at once when it was just you, and now you're you know what I'm saying? Like things get uh, get get a little bit dicey. Um, so. Um, thank you uh, uh, to my boss uh, for holding everything together and thank you for my to my uh, co-workers uh, for helping him and me uh, by extension because I've had some handed in this uh, you know um, uh, I ain't too humble um, to admit that but um, really it's 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 my boss that has been the one to to be able to facilitate facilitate all of this i've just been able to bring ideas and organization to some of it and execution as well on the sales side uh and i have wonderful co-workers that um can bring uh, their own sets of uh skill sets to the table uh and it's been successful mix um here's looking forward to another year of uh, success and breaking more records um we had a good turnout um i don't know how many people we had in and out uh yesterday but um it it was a lot and we had uh we had a lot going on and for the majority of it we were running by the seat of our pants you know what i'm saying you know because if it didn't turn out like it did you know like uh, um we could plan accordingly but like uh we it did turn out like we wanted to end more um and we handled it uh very well um and no problems at all um everybody was very um pleasant and well behaved um from all sides uh, so that was very impressive um and uh, as i was joking with my uh with my group today i could cough and uh, uh i mean like my uh, like uh, like <laughs> no uh, what, what did i say um oh yeah my blood's like 50 percent like thc right now i could cough and i can get a buzz you know, and it's true like yesterday um it was a proper 420 look 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 i i not only did i properly for the first time in my life properly uh and i've been a i've been a stoner for let's see 20 40 44 for almost 44 uh, almost 24 years uh and uh like as you know i've i've celebrated 420 in some fashion all of those times um this is the first time that not only was i at a festival not only was i smoking inordinate amounts of fucking uh of flour and wax but i was also getting paid do so it was magical I didn't even smoke when I got home last night I just zoned out on some fucking YouTube for a minute and then off to bed I went so um yeah um it was a wild night um and and for real um i you know it you know it, okay so you know when you have um like that friend um or um uh, when you see somebody that has uh, been trying to execute a plan for so long and it finally happens and uh and you just see them smiling and and enjoying the fruits of their labor uh like genuinely just enjoying the moment 
that was my boss last night um you know he's he's um you know he's usually very you know he's always very level you know like he's always got things under control but sometimes you can see the stress on his face and in the way he moves um yesterday like uh, uh last night he was out there serving beer and um uh, schmoozing with uh, with the customers uh and he had that easy relaxed uh look about him and it was really cool really really cool to see him that way because it could have turned out horribly awfully catastrophically wrong like the other way around like you know we had we have two kegs rotting here all day barely anybody shows up and except for the hardcore loyals you know you know what i'm saying it could have been so much worse but it went swimmingly and thank you to god in the universe and anybody else that was you know looking out for us thank you And um, <clears throat> today, of course, I had D&D group, and, and that was fucking really cool. And it turned out really well. I was fried in a different way this morning. You know, I was so, like, it was a 12-hour shift yesterday. Like, that was my normal shift, but we had the event on top of it. I was absolutely just destroyed last night when I got home. Like, you know, not even from, like, I mean, I was I was burnt out from smoking, but... I was physically tired and this morning like I still felt really off but um, then um, we got going and you know like uh, you know we started chilling and you know you know smoked a little bit because I didn't I, I, I took a dab before I left that's because it's gonna be a long day um, but you know once we got into chill mode and everybody you know you know eased into their uh um into the groove and all that stuff and the the evenings or the afternoon started to come together it was really cool i mean it's all it was always really cool but it, it's it's just felt nice today uh and we slid right into the game um and we ended on a cliffhanger because um like all of us uh well there's only one of our players is fast asleep uh and he's the only one that could uh do something in this uh in this situation at least uh, as far as like the i mean combat hasn't started we just rolled initiative before we left uh um tonight but um we are in a bit of a pickle and we're oh yeah none of us are armed because this is in our encampment so and none of us have had a long rest so we're fucking exhausted um, so we might die next session. I'm fine with that. That's just the way things go. Um, so we'll see, um, not next week, but the week after. Um, this was just going to be a preamble, um, But I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to use this as a bit to uh, um, talk for a second about, you know, eh, no, fuck it, let's go. Um, we have uh, Merv, post-apocalyptic sci-fi short film. Um, everybody, uh, grab your coffee, grab your uh, smoke, grab your snacks. Um I've got some haichu. Uh, you know, the haichu. Uh, and uh, we are about to get moving. Um, I already took my dab, but um, 
I am smoking on some Moon Rock right now. Okay, my Stormtrooper Bowl. Hmm. So, that'll be enough to be getting on with. So. Sit back. Relax. And let's fucking watch a post-apocalypse sci-fi show. Uh, sci-fi film. Sorry, it's been a long day. Let's boogie. Little Dragon Pictures presents Merv. A lot like what I think it would uh, the post apocalypse would be. Yeah, there would uh, you would have a lot of work uh, to do to filter all that stuff out, especially if it's got toxics and uh, uh, heavy metals and uh, any any fucking else that, uh, crawling around in in puddles like that, especially in the post apocalypse. Yeah. That's cool as fuck. A little sprout. Look at him go. Oh, 
Oh, he just... Oh, shit. Dropping all kinds of shit as he goes. I mean, I mean, he's clearly starved for, uh, like, attention. He wants to find somebody, uh, but he runs from the first person. He's, I edit, I end, I get it. You gotta be careful. Like, you know, somebody, uh, is, is just as likely to shoot you and take all your shit as they are, uh, to, uh, you know, be peaceful. So, um, I understand his reticence, but, um, I mean, bro. Like, I mean, you dropped your water can, you dropped some other gear, you know, like, you know, you you weren't even clear headed about your retreat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but I guess you didn't, you were, you were trying to book it so you, she wouldn't, or he or she, uh, wouldn't, uh, um, know, uh, where your base was or anything like that. I guess you, cause like, I mean, tracking from, uh, from footprints and all that stuff. So much anxiety. Yeah, bro, you dropped your fucking, uh, uh, your, your, um, your water can. You gotta go and get some. Oh, wow. Look at that. Go get your water, bro. You, 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 like it, they remind me of the, uh, from Star Wars. The not the Jawas, but uh, maybe a little bit of the Jawas, but also the um, the Sand Raiders. Uh, like uh, this was, th it feels like this is like how they would have like first come about. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what's left, and like you know, like I don't know. It just, it, I don't know. I think it's the goggles or the the gas mask. Oh shit. Is she dead? He or she? I, I, it looks like a female from here, but it, it, it could be wrong. But uh, uh, are they dead? So, so crazy, so kooky. King of the hill, any way you can, right? Got his water. But I, I bet you she waited there on purpose, you know? Over blanket. Mm. 
Look at that. She bloomed just for you. How is he going to take the, uh, the, uh, the, the full process? Get your, uh, start yourself a nursery, my friend. Perpetual garden. <laughs> nice hell yeah let him let, let that motherfucker come back here hey i got something for him film. I like this one a lot. Aww. What is she doing? Good shit, right? Alright. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, um, you can expect this one, um, thereabouts, um, about the 23rd. I hope you enjoy. Have a great night. Be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Be safe.